Hello everyone, my name is Vikas Bansal and in this video, I will give you a brief introduction to SAP Customer Checkout. So what will I cover? I will cover the SAP Customer Checkout Overview where I will talk about the Retail User Interface Mode, the Kiosk Mode and the Hospitality Mode. Then I will give a brief introduction to SAP Customer Checkout Manager and then I will show you how far we have reached with SAP Customer Checkout, when did we start and where are we now. So for all those of you who are very new, SAP Customer Checkout supports the checkout process in a physical store. So a customer walks in into a physical store, he buys all the different goods, then he goes to the POS terminal or where the cashier is, he pays for these goods and he leaves the store. This transaction which is created in the POS terminal is then posted to the according SAP ERP system. We support integration to SAP Business One, SAP Business by Design and SAP Retail. Now what's inside SAP Customer Checkout? SAP Customer Checkout has two software components. The first software component is called SAP Customer Checkout. It is the point of sale solution which is installed in the point of sale terminal where your business transactions are taking place. It is also the software component where all the hardware devices like the printers, cash drawers, line display, customer display, barcode scanner, credit card terminal, all these hardware devices are integrated too. The second software component is called SAP Customer Checkout Manager. SAP Customer Checkout Manager is an optional but very powerful software component. In case you need central functions, for example, if you want to park your transaction from one point of sale terminal and you want to fetch this transaction in your second point of sale terminal, then you will need the SAP Customer Checkout Manager. Or if you want to create a gift voucher from one point of sale terminal and you want to use the gift voucher as a payment means in a second point of sale terminal, then you need the SAP Customer Checkout Manager. Or if you need central control, for example, if you want user A should be able to log in in point of sale 1 but he should not be able to log in in point of sale terminal 100 then you need SAP customer checkout manager or if you want that instead of going to each point of sale terminal and updating the software there one by one if you want to upload your software in one central place and want that all your point of sale terminal are updated then you will upload the software in the SAP Customer Checkout Manager. So I hope it gives you an impression of where SAP Customer Checkout Manager is needed and why SAP Customer Checkout Manager is so powerful. Now in this slide, it shows you how integrated SAP Customer Checkout is to SAP Business One. Here I have put some screenshots from the installation wizard of SAP Business One. And when you are installing the integration component of Business One, then you get a checkbox which is called Activate Support for Customer Checkout. And if you check this checkbox during the installation phase, then all your SAP Customer Checkout B1IF scenarios are activated. So there is no manual step left for you to do to integrate SAP Customer Checkout to SAP Business One. Here, I give you a brief introduction to how your customer system landscape will look like with SAP Business One and Customer Checkout. So your customer already has the SAP Business One where finally all your master data and transactional data will reside. SAP Customer Checkout talks to SAP Business One using the SAP Business One integration framework or B1IF in short.
so you need the P1IF. Now you have your different point of sale terminal. These are all different customer checkout which can be installed in a point of sale terminal or it might be installed in a laptop, desktop or tablets. Each customer checkout pulls master data from SAP Business One and stores it locally in customer checkout. Master data like customers, articles, price list, special price, period volume discount, time based discount, all this information is fetched from Business One and stored locally in each of the SAP customer checkout. This makes SAP customer checkout completely offline capable, which means even if you are not connected to SAP Business One, you can continue making your sales transaction and when you are connected to SAP Business One, all your sales transaction will be posted to SAP Business One. Also, do not forget we have the SAP Customer Checkout Manager. SAP Customer Checkout Manager is also a central component like SAP Business One. In case you want central functions like central parking, central voucher management or central controls like software updates or central user management, then you need the SAP Customer Checkout Manager. SAP Customer Checkout supports three different user interface mode namely retail mode, kiosk mode and hospitality mode. Each of these three different user interface modes are optimized for the according use case. For example, in the retail mode, you will use scanners to scan customer cards and articles. The kiosk mode is optimized for touch to help you execute your sales process very fast. The hospitality mode you start with a table and here we support for example tip management functionality. Now we will look into each of this user interface mode in more detail. The retail user interface mode can be used in grocery stores, fashion stores or merchandising stores. Here the cashier can record his time. We support here omnichannel sales. We support here different price list, different discount list, time based pricing as well. Here we support mixing of multiple payments or payment in multi currency as well. This user interface mode is completely offline capable and at the end of the day, the cashier will do a day end closing. At any point in time, you get brief reporting to know what is going on in the retail mode so far. The second user interface mode is the kiosk mode. The kiosk mode of the user interface you will use it in the food kiosk, canteens, food trucks, cinemas and also probably in souvenir shops. The technological basis of the kiosk mode is the same as the retail mode. So here also we support out of the box integration to SAP Business One and it is also offline capable. However, the user interface of the kiosk mode is optimized for the kiosk industry so that you can run or execute your sales process very fast. Normal functionality like time recording, day end closing, all this is also supported in the kiosk mode. The third user interface is the hospitality mode. Here again, the technological basis remains the same and it supports out of the box integration to SAP Business One. The hospitality mode, you will use it in cafes, bars and restaurants. Here we support table management so that when a customer walks in, the first thing that you do is you assign him a table. And when the customer orders some food and some drink, the order printout is sent to the kitchen for the food items and to the bar for the drinks so that the kitchen and the bar can prepare their food items accordingly. Here we support course selection so that you can say that a particular food is first course or whether it is third course. We also support here 
tip handling so that when taking payments you can enter how much was the tip amount that was paid by the customer we also support here in case a customer moves to a different table so you can assign him to a different table or if the shift of a waiter or waitress is ending he can give his tables to another waiter or waitress we also support here split and merge so that you can merge several receipts into one or if two people are eating and they want to split their bill then you can split one existing bill into two different receipts this user interface mode just like the kiosk mode can also be run on mobile devices now let's have a look into sap customer checkout manager as i mentioned before this is the second software component of sap customer checkout sap customer checkout manager is a central component which is generally only installed once the user interface of sap customer checkout manager is based on sap ui 5 so it is fiori based uis it runs on a powerful database like sap hana you can also use microsoft sql database for customer checkout manager as you can see in the screen each app in sap customer checkout manager provides a complete functionality on its own as of now in fpo5 we have more than 40 apps in sap customer checkout manager here i will talk about a few of the apps in the app users you can maintain different users and roles roles like cashier manager and create different users for this role you can assign that a user can log in in one point of sale however he cannot log in in another point of sale as these users are doing their time recording punch in and punch out you can see all this information in the time recording tile in customer checkout manager all your sales transaction or receipts are posted to the sap erp system however you can also post them to the sap customer checkout manager if you use voucher management then you can sell a gift voucher from one point of sale solution and use this gift voucher as a payment means in another point of sale solution this is supported by the voucher management app in customer checkout manager if you want not to go to each point of sale to update them one by one and update centrally all this point of sale from one customer checkout manager then you will use the software updates functionality from manager day and closing is the process where the cashier counts the money and he performs the day and closing all the counting that the cashier has done and all the transactions that the cashier has done is posted to customer checkout manager in the sales summary app we also support here brief reporting so that you can download these reports in an excel sheet also we support here monitoring so that you get monitoring alerts when some point of sale solution is not working as expected so this was a very brief introduction into sap customer checkout manager and as i told you in the beginning out of the 40 tiles we have here i have only covered 8 or 9 of them now the sap customer checkout journey how when did we start and how far have we come the first version of sap customer checkout sap customer checkout 1.0 was released in january 2014 at that point in time we had only one software component and only one user interface mode which was the retail mode next year we introduced the second software component which is sap customer checkout manager next year we introduced the kiosk mode of the user interface in 2017 we introduced the hospitality mode of the user interface and all this while we were working 
with some strategic customers so that each of the functionality that we had built was consumed by the by the customer immediately and below you can see some of the customers with whom we have worked together in building up these features and as we have traveled this journey we have now more than 200 customers who are using customer checkout out of these 200 customers more than 170 customer comes from SAP Business One. So in the SAP Business One area, we have very good penetration. These customers are spread across 25 countries in the world. We have more than 6,000 installations of SAP Customer Checkout. Very often, we hear from the customers, is SAP Customer Checkout only for the small business with 2 or 5 or 10 point of sale? That's not true. We have multiple customers who are live who have more than 100 point of sale. Though the average deal size remains in the area of 20 to 40 point of sale, but we have live customers with more than 100 point of sale as well. And all this while, we have been working with 60 different partners from SAP partner community. So this was a very brief introduction into SAP customer checkout. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much.